Sisters, welcome to another exciting edition of The Hidden Truth. I'm Kazakia. With me today, once again, we have Priest Tahawam Mayam. Shalom, brothers and sisters. And we have Priest Ahab. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Which is going to be our reader, okay? And uh, thank you, brothers and sisters, for tuning in to our show. Uh, we want to thank you all for all the positive comments. And, and uh, we get a lot of positivity. You know, I like that. You know, uh, thank you that... You people that are negative, thanks for staying away from us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. We don't. We, we 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 get the positive. We get a lot of positive review. We get a lot of thumbs up on our YouTubes. You know, yes, you have. You know, once in a while, you know, a crazy white person, and you know, <laughs> screaming you niggers and all stuff like that. But right, for right. the most part, you know, it's been uh, it's been positive. We thank y'all for uh, checking out all of our videos and shows. And if you brothers and sisters want to help out uh, the Hidden Truth or the uh, ISBHPK, uh, um, look at, check out our school. Um, the address is, is there, 8524 South Brazewood. You brothers and sisters, if you want to help us out with in anything, we would appreciate it, okay? And we do have our classes Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, as you see there. Uh, this is live here in Houston, Texas. Okay, and we are on channel, what 17, channel? 17 Local. 17 Local and Comcast what? 95. Comcast 95, okay? So uh, check us out live here. If you brothers and sisters do want to call in and interact with us live, okay, we're going to start putting up the live number again. So as you check this out on YouTube, if you want to catch us live, check us out here on Saturdays at 8 o'clock live. And that's Houston time, okay? And that's the live number. So you can call in and interact. Uh, hopefully it's civilized and, uh, and with wisdom. Uh, but we're going to go into tonight's topic, okay? And to tonight's topic, we're going to be talking about, uh, which is a real strong topic. Uh, I was actually second-guessing about this, but this is a lot of confusion. Uh, there's a lot of confusion that comes with this topic. Right, right. Right? And what is that topic? Uh, we're dealing with the... Uh, the controversial topic of angels and Nephilim um, that these angelic beings came down to earth and dealt with men right and uh, we're dealing with a, you know a lot of brothers that are coming in they're cu they're new to the knowledge but they're getting knowledge from less seasoned brothers that are breaking down the scriptures in an incorrect way and they're or going solely on YouTube teachings right and I see that you we see that a lot with a lot of people is like they're doing a lot of getting on the YouTube and letting, you know, washing their brain with that, then getting in the Bible and mixing it. Right, right. And we got to really, <laughs> really be careful of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, the thing is, you know, the, the scriptures already tell you if you add to or take away from. Right. 
you know, then then you're gonna be you're gonna be damned for that. Right. So the thing is, we don't want to add to or take away from it. The scriptures aren't saying that angelic beings came down and has had sex with women. Right. And, and so that's what we're really touching on. Yeah, we, uh, we're really gonna start right into Genesis chapter six because this is where the confusion comes from. Is the, they they miss the words that Genesis is speaking on. Right. All right. That, and they say that these that an angels came down and reproduced with women. All right. Now, that's not the case. When As we go through the scriptures, we're going to get the clarification and find out, okay, is that, was that the case? Is that, did angels come down and were they able to reproduce a woman and, and, and deal, with, uh, deal with women like that? Or are we dealing with just a simple miscommunication? Right. right? Or misunderstanding in the scriptures. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Once again. Uh, so let's go into it. Right, right. And, uh, you know, another scripture, uh, if we can get it real quick, just before we start. Is the reason I'm bringing this out is because of the again the misunderstanding. So, uh, um, so once again we're talking about the angels and the giants and the so-called uh, Nephilim. If they came down, if these angels came down and had sex right. with uh, women and and bore these so-called giants, right, right, right. Okay, is that the way that it happened? Is right. that we're gonna go through the scriptures and. And go through some basics and see that you know that didn't happen. Right. It and, didn't go that way. Yeah. And key key thing to know about this is we're going through the scriptures. We're not going to go through you know uh, uh, the the Sitchin guy was his name. Uh, Zachariah <laughs> Sitchin. Zachariah right. Sitchin. And we're not going to go off into the quasars and go into the Hubble telescopes and try to find uh, UFOs and everything like that. We're not going into that. We're going into the scriptures because that's where we're going to find the right. understanding. Right. Right. All right. As Very good point. Very good point because when you go into all these other books. Uh, in commentaries, they're going to already establish an ideal about this. Right, right. So let's go into the Bible right. and deal with the basic instruction. Yeah. Right. You know, and YouTube already formulates an ideal of, you know, so when you're reading it, that, oh, yeah, well, that was the, the no, it's not. <laughs> Biblically, it's not. Right. God. Right. And that's yeah. what we're going to go into, right? Right. So uh, first one, Psalms 119, verse 104. And, uh, you know, and then we'll go right into Genesis, man, to just kind of break that down point for point, uh, because that's where the misconception is coming from, is that they're reading this Genesis chapter six and they're, oh, there it is. See that the, yeah. uh, the sons of God came and dealt with men, dealt with women. And that's how it is. Right. right. Well, let's let's see what we need to be doing instead of going off a of man's opinion or going on YouTube and looking at the title or something and saying, oh, you have aliens came down and impregnated women. Right. Or right. or angels came down and impregnated women off the title and not even watching the video. Let's go through the scriptures and get understanding. Read that. Psalms chapter 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. So where do we get understanding from? Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Through YouTube? Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Through cunningly devised fables. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Right. We don't get understanding through mythology, through through stories your mama taught you, through what your preacher taught you from the stage that he probably learned off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. We get understanding <laughs> through right. The precepts. Right. right. So now let's go back to chapter uh, Genesis chapter 6, and let's just break this down. Let's, let's knock this out point for point, and hopefully there will be less confusion among new brothers, new sisters that's coming in the truth that have got their knowledge from an outside source, they've been exposed to it, uh, you know, through Facebook, through YouTube, and, you know, you might even came to us and, and you're thinking, okay, we're, we're like those people that's teaching these different things. We're going to teach the truth according to the Bible. We're going to teach according to the precepts. And that's why this is important because, uh, you know, uh, we, we've been battling about this topic, and I, I, was, I was like, you know, nah, brother, leave that alone. It's, it's really not important. But then thinking about it is because, why are people going into these books of uh, all these angelic books or, you know, the Keys of Solomon or the Book of Jasher or the Adam and Eve? Why? Because they're learning all this other stuff. Right. They have preconceived notions about the subject. And now when they look in the Bible, they figure, oh, there's something left out. So now, yes, the Book of Jasher fits in. Now, yes, the Book of Enoch fits in. Right. See, and this is. So this is why the spirit was telling me this is important because it alleviate confusion, you know, dealing with the topic. If you just go through the Bible and see what the scriptures are saying. Huh. And to make it clear from the jump, nowhere in the Bible does it say angels came down and had sex with people. 
And nowhere in the Bible does it say angels came down and married women and married married men or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just so that's clear. Right. All right. But let's find out if 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 we've been just hoodwinked over the over the decades here. Read that. Genesis chapter six, verse one. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of God. Stop. Now, this is where this is where the problem is. All right. Mm -hmm. The sons of God. All right. As right. soon as we say the sons of God, we got to know, well, who are sons of God? What what makes a person a son of God? All right. Because what you've been taught, what you've been shown uh, by confused brothers is that these sons of God are angels. Mm. But that's not the case, according to the scriptures. OK, now, I'm going to break down just again, point for point, what made them the sons of God. R right. Because the Bible <clears throat> does refer to the angels as the son of God. Right. And Job. OK, one. so we can't run from that. Right. Right. OK, so these here, we're not we're going to find out. And as we go th even through the scripture, we're going to find out they're not talking about angels, the angels at this point. You're going to be able to, to identify whether the sons of God on earth. Right. Or the sons of God, which is in heaven. Exactly. OK, gotcha. Right. So we're going to go first to Genesis chapter two and verse seven. And we're going to see what makes a son of God. All right. We're going to go through this to find out what what makes a, a person, what makes a being a son of God. All right. Outside of the angelic realm. All right. Read that. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Right, so he formed who? And the Lord God formed man. Okay, so we're going into what made man, right? Read that. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Right, now we're going to find out through the Apocrypha, all right? Well, the Apocrypha is a book they took out the scriptures, but it coincides right in with the scriptures. It actually belongs in there. What was that breath of life? All right, so I'm giving y'all kind of a creation breakdown. We're going all the way back to creation of man a little bit, mm -hmm. all right? But we're going to find out what was that breath of life. Mm. Go to Wisdom of Solomon. I want you to hit, uh, we're going to read chapter 7 and verse uh, 22. Right, you know, uh, <laughs> once again, this is a strong topic. This right. is a strong topic to touch on. But hopefully we uh, clarify a lot of things through the scriptures that way, uh, brothers and sisters, because Cap stops searching out things that a lot of things that you 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 don't understand, right. and uh, trying to fit these other books in with the Bible. Right. Hopefully, that this is what this this show does. It, it alleviates that confusion, you know. Yeah, and that, that, you know, it really got on my spirit to put it together when you know we had new brothers coming into camp, and the first question they had on their brain was. You know, oh, well, what, what about what they want to break down for me? The the angels thing is like, oh, yeah. And the angels was doing this with women. It was like, oh, no, nah, brother. You, you have you right. read the scripture. Right, <laughs> and it right. says you showed the scripture. You there. err not knowing the scripture. Right, right. Uh, so read that real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 22. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 22. For the wisdom which is the worker of all things taught me. So what we're finding out is. We're going to read about wisdom. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to jump down to, uh, what was it, verse 27? Right. Uh, 25. Sorry. 25. Verse 25. Mm -hmm. For she is the breath of the power of God. So we found out wisdom is the breath of the power of God. This is what was breathed into the first man. Right. All right. This is what, what, what was breathed into, well, the man that the Most High took from amongst mankind. Right, right. And he breathed into him the breath of life. He breathed into him wisdom and knowledge. All right. Okay. And this is going to come to bear. I know it's cre creeping up slow, but uh, read on. For she is the breath of the power of God mm -hmm. and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Okay. So this is what was breathed into man, right? That made, them, made him a son of God. Now, I'm going to show you all this through the scriptures because what was breathed into him was the spirit of wisdom. Right. Right. Of knowledge, of understanding. Okay. Romans of chapter 8 and verse 14. All right, because we just found out what was breathed into Adam. It was that spirit of wisdom. It was the spirit of knowledge and understanding. So we want to find out, okay, well, okay, I, I get that, yeah, that's how man was made. That's how uh, a man of God was made in, in, in the Most High's image. Well, what is it, how does that make him a son of God? Well, let's see. Read that. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Mm -hmm. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. See that? As many as are led mm. of the Spirit of okay. the Most High. As many as are breathed into their nostrils the breath of life, that right. Spirit of the Most High. Right. Read. 
They are the sons of God. They are the sons of who? They are the sons of God. They are right. angelic beings. They are the sons of God. Right. right. They become the sons of God when they get that breath of life breathed into them. Right, right. Read, uh, uh, read that in uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. I didn't jump ahead, did I? No, no. That's, okay, all right. <laughs> that's good. No, that falls right in line. 1 John chapter 3, and verse 2. So now we've established man when he was made. He got breathed in them the breath of life. The, the, well, not all man, but this certain man, Adam. Right. right. And his lineage, his generations were breathed into them the breath of life, which is the spirit of the Most High. Right. Uh, and then we found out anybody that's led of the spirit of the Most High, he's a son of God. So right. Adam was instantly made there a son of God. Right. All right. Read that. First John chapter three, verse two. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Now are we what? Beloved, now are we the sons of God. So this is uh, this is uh, the first epistle of what? Of who? <laughs> of John, right? Of John. Come right, on. so this is John, a man, telling these apostles, these disciples, now are we the sons of God. Mm -hmm. He's talking to men, right? Right. You know? And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Right. And I'm a, we, we can think about that. You can think about that, how it says we shall be like him when he shall appear. So obviously we're not in the form that <laughs> we're going to see when Christ come back in that spiritual form. Right. Right. But when he comes with the angels, we're not in that exact same form like he's going to be. Right. All right. So we're going to go through. Okay, the difference between these angels, how, these angelic beings, and us. Okay, so uh, we just we just established that the the s sons of God. This reference is not just referring to angelic beings. Right. Exactly. Right. So the scriptures already established that it's speaking of men, women that are have the breath of life in them. Right. Exactly. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Genesis chapter two, or chapter six. I'm sorry, and uh, you're gonna read verse two again. God. Genesis chapter 6 verse 2 that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose all right stop there it said read it read that part again verse 2 that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives they took them what and they took them wives mm. okay now these are angels. Let's keep this frame of mind going just a little they, bit. That's, what, that's right? what they tell us, right? <laughs> right. These, these, they tell us that these sons of God are angels. Right. Okay. So cool. let's keep that frame of mind in there as we go to this scripture. We're, we're thinking these are angels now. Right. I want you to go to Matthew chapter 22 and verse 30. Right. Because that scripture just said that these men, that I mean, these angels, right, quote, unquote, took them wives of all that they chose. Now let's see if an angelic beings do this. If this is a practice of angelic beings, do mm -hmm. they do they marry? Do they are they given in marriage? All right, read that. Matthew chapter twenty-two verse thirty. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage. Right. So he's talking about when we die and we you know and the Most High raises us from the grave. He said that we become as what? For in the resurrection they neither marry no, nor are given in marriage. Right. Mm. We neither marry nor are given in marriage, right? Now, what type of being is neither married or is given in marriage? Read on. But are as the angels of God in heaven. All right. So it says the angels of God in heaven. We're going to be like them. We're not going to marry. Neither are we going to be given in marriage. So uh. when we transcend from the flesh to the spirit, Right. And go back to the most high. That's not. It, 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 Paul said it. There's a glory of the celestial and there's a glory of the terrestrial. Right. Okay. So, you know, that's they're not entertained by the same thinking that we're entertained in. Exactly. Not the righteous angels. Not the righteous. We'll go into that on another show about right, the, right. the actions of wicked angels. But now we're dealing with the righteous angels. They don't marry. They don't reproduce like that. They don't. They they don't have ca that carnal thought process right. of I gotta eat, I gotta sleep, I gotta <laughs> I gotta drink, and I have to have sex. Right. They're not on that page. Got they're you. celestial beings. They're they're about something else entirely. Got you. Got All right. But he said they neither marry nor are given in marriage. And from there, I want you to see where Christ says it again a little more clearly clearly for you. Mm. We're gonna go to Luke chapter twenty verse thirty four. You're going to read uh, 34 and 35. Mm. And as y'all getting that, I'm going to look in here in the Zondervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary. And, uh, you know, because we're talking about 
uh, what people call the Nephilim. Right. right? And, uh, you know, just to throw that word out there so it whets everybody's appetite, you know, because <laughs> they, they like to hear, you know, nice little words like that, little mystic words. But really, when you look up the word Nephilim, all right, and, and we see the in the scriptures, as we're going through the scriptures, we're finding out that we're not dealing with, you know, an, angelic beings. But, you know, we're kind of entertaining that for a second, even though it's not in the scriptures like that. But the word Nephilim is here in the Zondervan Pictoria Bible Dictionary. You can pick one of these up. It's, a de it's going to define all the words that you see in the Bible, uh, all the words and biblical figures and places and things like that. It's like a mini encyclopedia of the Bible. All right, so I'm going under the word Nephilim here. And it says, a term rendered giants in the KJV, describing certain of the antediluvians. All right, so talking about people before the flood and things. And aboriginal dwellers in Canaan. Uh, where they are identified with the sons of Anak, though no direct trace of a people of such abnormal stature has been discovered, which is not true. They're digging up bodies of giant people and everything right. like that everywhere. So these giants, these Nephilim, are actually, were actually on the earth. Um, it says, there is ample evidence as to the underlying tradition. One should reject the view that they were angelic fallen beings. All right, so we have to, we, they're even saying it, the white man's even knowing this, that right. these were not angelic fallen beings. These weren't angels that came down and they decided we're against the most high, so we're going to impregnate a bunch of women on the earth. Right. All right. Yeah. So right, that's right. just to show you just from, from that Zondervan, that's a pictorial Bible dictionary there. All right. But uh, go ahead and read that. Luke chapter 20, verse 33. Uh, 34. Verse 34. And Jesus answering said unto them, the children of this world marry and are given in marriage. See, he said the children of this world, they marry and are given in marriage. So he's making you a clear distinction between how the angels deal and how we deal. Right. That the angels, they're married and are given in marriage. Or, I mean, the, 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 the children of this world. Right. They marry and are given in marriage. Okay. Read. Verse 35. But they which shall be a comp, the word. said, but, as in however, right. They that what? But they which shall be a comp worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. See right? that the ones that's going to attain that next world, that kingdom of heaven, that uh, that that place with the most high and the angels, they're neither going to marry nor are given in marriage. So he, he made it clear the children of this world marry and are given in marriage. So who are we dealing with when we went to uh, Genesis chapter um Chapter 6. Right, right. No, no, go ahead. Read that. Genesis chapter 6. He said, what? You got it? Genesis chapter 6. Verse 2. Verse 2. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. Right. And so he, saw, he said the sons of God saw the sons of men, that they were fair. So who are these sons of God now? Right. Because when they saw these, these women that were fair, beautiful. Read. That the sons of God saw the daughters of the men. The daughters of men, right. Right. That they were fair. That they were fair, read. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Right. So who were these who were these sons of men that took these wives? Right. It's, we're not talking about angels now. Right. Angels don't take wives. Right. Okay. And that's been established. <laughs> right. Now, you okay. Know, right. So that, that way we see that, listen, that they, we're not dealing with angels right here. Though we saw it in the Zondervan. That the, the Nephilim, these giants, were not created by angelic beings. God. We're seeing it here in the scriptures that the sons of God here in this, in this instance are not talking about angels. Right. We're talking about men. God. All right, read on. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Mm. Yet his days shall be 120 years. Okay, okay. We went kind of fast right there. Yeah, yeah, you got to read These are the words that everybody misses. Right. All right. That's good that he went fast <laughs> yeah. because it a this is how they read it. Yeah. They read it and they, they don't, they miss this point that's going to be brought out. Right, right. And the, you, you got to be, you got to know the wording of, of the Bible. This is the, for one, we already know the Bible is a contract. Right. Correct. So, you know, as you're going through your walk in the Hebrew Israelite in the truth of being a Hebrew Israelite, you're going to find out that we signed a contract back then by saying amen to this, by right. agreeing to right. this. Right. Yeah. And but a lot of us didn't pay attention to the words and we don't do it to this day. Right. Yeah. You have to pay attention to the words in a contract. Yeah. And the words in here are very particular. Well, I want you to read that scripture again a little bit slower. Yeah. 
Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Wait, with angels? My spirit shall not always strive with man. With uh, alien beings from Mars? My spirit <laughs> shall not always strive with man. They're not from Nerubu? <laughs> Nerubu? <laughs> My spirit shall not always strive with man. Right. So he said his spirit is not always going to strive with man. But I thought angels were the ones that caused all this problem. Right. That they were the ones coming and dealing right. with it. Well, they right. were the right. ones doing wrong. But he said his spirit is not going to strive with man. Why would he say that if he's talking about angels? There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now check this out. Right. Read on. For that he also is flesh. He, for he also is what? For that he also is flesh. Okay, then that kills it because right. angels are not flesh. Right, there you go. We're not dealing with flesh and blood beings, and I'm going to prove that to you through the scriptures also. All right, I want mm. you to go down to uh, chapter uh, Psalms again, 104 and verse 4. Mm. We're going to read Psalms chapter 104, verse 4, and if you can give me also Hebrews 1, verse 13. I'll get that, Hebrews 1, 13. These are just two scriptures. Because he said, for that he is also flesh, right? Right. So right now, we're not dealing with angels. We're not dealing with angelic beings. Right, right. As the scripture is going to point out. Read that. Psalms chapter 104, verse 4. Who maketh his angels spirits. Who maketh his angels what? Who maketh his angels spirits. Mm. He makes them flesh beings. Who maketh his angels spirits. Right, he makes his angels spirits. There you go. Right. So we're not dealing with an angelic beings because the angels are spirits. They're in spirit form. Mm. Right. Yeah. And when they come down as men, we, they still follow the rules. They're neither marrying or are given in marriage. Right. Right. See that? Yeah. But read that. Read, read on. Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Right. Now, if we can get uh, Hebrews 1 and verse 13. Hebrews 1 verse 13. It says, but to which of the angels said he at any time sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So we're talking about the angels. He said to which of them did he say sit on my right hand while I make your enemies your footstool. And he's describing about Christ when you read in the, you know, the read the rest of Hebrews. Right. But he's talking about him where there's a difference between, you know, Christ and the angels also. But here he's showing like, listen, he, where the subject matter on this is angels. Right. So when we read the next verse. Are they not all ministering spirits? He's going to requote Psalms. Aren't they ministering spirits? Right. The angels are not flesh. They are ministering spirits. So we got to get this out of our head. The spirit is not going to go and put on mortality. Right. And that's another point we're going to hit. If the mm. brothers are missing through I the scriptures. I think he... <laughs> 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 You're going right over the head on this one, man. Hopefully not, man. But the thing is, you know. No, it's it's really basic. Yeah. But it, it's these basic scriptures that we haven't looked at right. as, as uh, people online and searching. They haven't looked at these things. Exactly. Exactly. And and it's it's really right here. You just do err not knowing the scripture. You're yeah. Reading. You're quoting it. You're you're saying it, and you're saying, look, oh yeah, it's in Genesis six. But a lot of these guys, when, I, when they say, oh, yeah, it's in Genesis 6, I take them there, and they, they never read these points. No. It's like you never no, read they're going off No, of, they're going off of what they heard. It's The typical problem with our people is they heard what Pastor said, exactly. and they never went and read it themselves. Right, right. Right. So let's, uh, let's go back to Genesis again, and let's, let's break, keep breaking this out, breaking this down point for point here, because uh, we just found out. The angels are not going to marry. They're not going to be given in marriage, mm -hmm. right? They said, uh, well, we found out they're ministering spirits. The angels are spirits, all right? Yeah. Now, I want you to read uh, where you left off in uh, Genesis 6. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. There we go. Another point, right? He just limited these man's life, right, to 120 years. So we, you get this time limit now. Huh. It, does that happen with angels? Mm. Do angels die? No. Uh, all right. Let's, let's prove it through the scriptures, though. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to go to Luke again. All right. 
We're going to go back to Luke chapter 20 and verse 36 now. We're going to pick up where he's still talking about the angels. He's still describing these angelic beings. And we're going to find out, did, did the angels, were they, were they marrying and giving in marriage? No. Mm. Did men do that? Yes. Right? Mm. Do the angels have a 120-year lifespan? No. No. Nah. <laughs> do men? Yes. Wow. Right? Read. Luke chapter 20, verse 36. Neither can they die anymore. So we're still talking about the angel. We're talking about our spirit when we die, right? right? And become resurrected. We stop dying. There's no more death. Right. When we resurrect into the, uh, into the fourth dimension, the exactly. spiritual realm. Exactly. Okay. Now, who are we going to be like when we can't die? Read. Neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels. See, wow. We're going to be equal <laughs> wow. to the angels. We're not going to die anymore. So how can these be angels that he limited to 120 years and then Christ come back and say the angels don't die? Right. <laughs> that don't make sense right, right there right. For, them to even, for them to go there. But again, it's just the airing, not, know, not having the knowledge, not right. going through the scriptures, and then not reading Genesis 6. Because to me, the precepts I had to put in here didn't really, weren't really necessary to me. Right. You know, but because it, so. Genesis 6 itself right. doesn't say angels came down. Right. <laughs> you know, it says, it, it tells you in that verse they were men. Exactly. And the sons of men right. were wilding out. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. So, but let's go back. Let's go back and, uh, and look at this uh, Genesis 6. And, and just uh, we're, now we're going to just see how much an error we made as we've been reading this. All right. So you reading back at, uh, you, you left off at verse 4, right? Yeah. Okay. Genesis 6, verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days. There were what? There were giants in the earth in those days. Now, when I look in this, uh, it's the New Oxford Annotated Bible, and you can get one of these yourself. Um, not too pricey, I don't think. It's a, called the New Oxford Anno Annotated Bible, all right? And it has the Apocrypha in it also. But uh, I'm going to read the same verse right out of here. It says, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days. All right. Right. And as we read in the Zondervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary, said that these were these were giants. giants right. right. So these were there were giants on the earth in those days. Right. All right. Now this is what it's what it's saying is before, or we'll say, in those days when the sons of God came down and dealt with the sons of men. Right. Right. There were giants in the earth in those days. Right. Already. Right. What it's showing you, all right? Right. What, the, what these brothers are coming and saying is that the giants came from these angelic beings. No. No, there were already giants in those days. Right. And here's the big words y'all been missing. Read this. Read up. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. Right, and also after that. So there were already giants then. Right. And after the sons of God came down, it came and dwelt with the sons of men. Right. There was giants after that right right See that? check this out read on right you know what i like this point because when you do uh and you look at the historical evidence you know in a one point yeshia really goes into this on it's like if you look at the height uh you know, and we're going to throw some images up here but if you look at the height of the assyrians uh of these assyrians right with israel uh you got images of them being put into slavery under the assyrians right, right. Uh, these men are huge oh yeah yeah. These men are huge. It, is, Israelites, our natural stature, we've been shrunk. I don't know if I'm jumping ahead. No, no, no. You, but you we've know, been course. shrunk, yeah. uh, you know, generation after generation. Right. You know, uh, you know, right now you will call 7172 a giant. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, and you got maybe <laughs> some anom anomalies bigger than that, right? Uh, but back in the days, those were these are small giants. Right. Right. They're giants, though. We have giants today. Right. You but, know, in the world. Right? right. Yeah. But as generation goes by and, and we depreciate because of the food, because of sin, because of wickedness. Right. You know, we start to get smaller and smaller. Right. But when we go back to our natural stature, we're going to go back to our natural height. And that's that's going to be my last scripture. I'm going to show you. We're going to show them something. They never really thought of before. So <laughs> hey, hey, let, hopefully, let, we got time. Hey, let me let me say this: yeah. Hey, Christ, when you when Christ comes back with the holy angels, right? Do you think Christ is coming back five four? <laughs> you know, we say that in class all the time. Right. Christ is gonna come back as his natural stature. Right. Why Why are all nations going to fear? Because he's gonna be the size of of a little dude. <laughs> come on, man. 
that these, these angels, these angelic beings in their, in their natural state, they're going to be beyond, uh, beyond just us in human form. Right. Right. But when we go back in our human form and our natural birth and, and youth, we're going to be, uh, we're going to tower what we are now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, you got these movies, you know, they used to make them the attack of the 50 foot woman and all this right. stuff like that. And the thing is, is those, those are our natural, our natural bodies right there. There you that, go. You know, we have, we have a, a very strong spirit on Israel. Even in these normal bodies, right? You know that we can do these amazing things, and and the whole earth marvels at us, and that's what Genesis six is talking about, right. also. But the thing is, even in this form, but it's our spirit was meant to inhabit a much larger body. Right. It was meant to meant to carry around much more much more flesh. You know. Right. What I mean? Right. But uh, just uh, on the point you were talking about with the uh, giants here in history. Right. Um, we're in Lost Tribes and Promised Lands. Uh, by Ronald Sanders, mm. and we use this to show a lot of you uh, so-called uh, Native Americans, uh, uh, the Reubenites, those Seminole Indians. Uh, we use that to show that you are the uh, you are the, one of the tribes of Israel, because uh, there's several passages in here that show that you were greeting the conquistadors in Hebrew, you were naming your islands in Hebrew. But here, uh, something in interesting. It says this is page seven. Uh, it's the prologue, the Catalan Atlas. It says. The Catalan inscription on Tropobana describes it as the last island of the Indies and goes on to say that its inhabitants are a people different from any other. Mm. On some of the mountains of this island, there are men of great stature. That is some 16 feet tall, like giants. Wow. Who are very black and without rational faculties. <laughs> right? So wow. He, he tells you that these, these brothers, are, that there was these big giant black brothers and this was just 16 feet tall right you know we that, to, that was still short right because we have to consider you had noah having dominion over the animals right and these these you talking about he's ushering in elephants giraffes animals bigger than that right right that are now long extinct or hidden now right and he's ushering them into the ark this is why people can't fathom how you know uh you know adam and and the dinosaurs existed right because you think adam was five four right they th they <laughs> according to charles darwin we were so small we just got snatched up right, right. yeah exactly there's no way <laughs> right you know for us to have dominion over these animals man we had to be petting them like pets exactly you know yeah they they had to be we had to be huge for us to have a dominion there you go i mean remember that's what was given to us have dominion over all the earth right and he didn't say some of the earth he said all of the earth that right. means we was we was petting dinosaurs. <laughs> it, it said that David played with lions as with kids, as with kids young right. lambs, right? Yeah. Same with Samson. He said he rent that lion like he was a kid. Yeah, you got to you got to figure how how powerful and big you have to be. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, to play with these lions. So no, David wasn't a midget. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> now maybe he was shorter than what you look at Samson. I mean, not Samson, uh, Goliath. Right. Uh, but because uh, Goliath was, uh, we, we went over this too in the height of Goliath, but he was a short giant. He right. wasn't, he wasn't even, he didn't even go back. When you go back to Adam with a firstborn. Now, everybody knows that when a woman has a child in her prime, in her youth, and she's healthy, that child, man, is, in, is, is, is strong. Right, right. Right? Yeah. Imagine the earth firstborn. You think we were coming out five five six one <laughs> seven one? Oh, Man, we were we were towering. We'd, we'd all be midgets and dwarfs right now. Exactly. <laughs> uh, there's one more point I missed, and and I wanted to br really bring this out about the about these angels because uh, we just found out that the angels don't die. Right. In, the, in in that Genesis six, he said he limited this man this man's life to 120 years. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're gonna go to Wisdom of Solomon once again in the Apocrypha. And read chapter 14 and verse 6. I want you to read that real quick because we got to get these points home to people. That way, that way they can't be beguiled. We do this so you don't get fooled, so you don't get tricked. All right, there's a lot of brothers out there. They, they twist the scriptures so they make themselves sound deep. And, and, you fo and you're following them because, man, they sound like they got a lot of wisdom. Or be, they sound like they got some deepness or some knowledge. But the thing is, is they're erring. They're not knowing the scriptures nor the power of the Most High. All right. Right. And that it really comes down to the simplicity, which is in Christ. Right. Wisdom of Solomon 14. You know, exactly. When it, it comes to the simplicity, which is in Christ, because uh, 
that's where we try to that's where we go off all the time. Oh yeah. It's it's trying to reach for the stars when the most high is like, listen, first get this. Yeah. First get what is amongst you. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean he plainly said it in the books they took out, he said don't seek out the things that are too hard for you. There you go. Or the things that are above your strength. Right. So. And, and 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 if you would really want to go deep, and we go <laughs> in this in a lot a, a lot in class. Right. Or we we need to also, is that uh, the Most High shut that out from Adam and Eve. Yeah. He shut the knowledge of the quasars. Right. Out from Adam and Eve. So stop trying to look for that. Right. The Most High, you, there's there's no link to that. You even deal with the zodiac and the reading of the stars and the planets. Right. The, the, what, what they have in these books and astrology books is so far off what the creator intended. Oh, yeah. You know, so yeah, that's yeah. why the most I said don't deal with them. Right. I was wondering, like, what, like, okay, once you got this not this so-called so esoteric knowledge, you, you know, you're into the Kabbalah, you're into all these different things. What, what are these brothers doing with it? I, I have not seen one of them extend their lifespan. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got niggas in China living to 256 years old. Off of eating right. Right, off of <laughs> herbs. Right. right. <laughs> doing what the Bible said, eating herbs and doing these. So what are they doing with this knowledge? They, right. You know, we went into that on the charity one. Right, but right. You're not feeding your kids with it. You're not feeding brothers and sisters with it. You're just getting this knowledge. It really, I, you know, I see why you didn't want to go into it because the thing is, is, what are you going to do with even this? This is knowledge to me. I was like, okay, that's knowledge. I, you ain't going to feed nobody with it. But mm -hmm. what I wanted to do was help the brothers understand that th this part of that knowledge has been taught to you wrong. Right. And, and just to clear it up, get that out the way, knock it to death. And, and <laughs> focus on the important things. There it, we go. He said it, and the scripture says, the simplicity which is in Christ. There we go. It's simple. He even says the foolishness of preaching. Right. You know what I mean? Why? Because I'm going to I'm going to leave it so basic that you have no excuse. Right. But what's the problem starting from Nimrod? The problem was we want to reach for the stars and we want to know about the heavens and you don't even know about the earth. Right. You don't know what's amongst you. <laughs> right. You know? Exactly. Read that. Read that. Because again, once again, in Genesis 14, he said, I'm going to live. I'm going to limit man to 120 years. So now we just found out, OK, do angels die? Did he limit the angel's life? Let's see. At the time of Christ, did he limit angel's life? No. We just read that. Now we're looking at the wisdom of Solomon, the wisest king that ever lived. <laughs> did this man think the angel died? Read. Mm. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 6. For in the old time also, when the proud giants perished. When the proud giants what? When the proud giants perished. Okay, so the angel, you're telling me the angels came down. It has sex with women, and they, they didn't produce angelic beings themselves. They just produce men that die. Right. That's, that's not what happened. The, and when he got mad at the angels that you're saying, he got mad at the angels, and he, he limited their span 120 years. Why is at Solomon's time later on the angels still not, the, the angels perish? Right. Right? Why is it at Christ's time he said, the, or, the, or the giants perish? Right. But at Christ's time he said the angels don't die. Right. So that don't make sense to me right there. They're mixing it. So right. what you're saying is they're they're getting this the angelic mixed up with the physical. Exactly. Right? Once again, there's a glory of the terrestrial and there's a glory of the celestial. Yeah. Like you, you no angels don't come down and have sex. That's not even in their being. Just like right now, we can't go up to heaven and go eat angels' food. Right, right. Right? <laughs> it, it, it's two different barriers. That can't be touched. Yeah. You know, when you're in the one or the other. You know, now of course they have power, they have more power than us. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we read that. Re read it again, just so it's clear in everybody's brain. Mm -hmm. For in the old time also, when when the proud giants perish, the hope of the world governed by thy hand escaped in a weak vessel. Right. So he said that when the angel when the giants perished, right? God. Now, angels don't do that. All right, Christ just said, angels don't do this, but these giants, the, one, the, the men that he told, the Nephilim, mm. right, they perish. He limited their span to 120 years. So, yeah, you walk around being giants all you want and stomping out everybody, but you get 120 years and then you drop dead. Right. All right? So uh, let's go back to Genesis 6. Now mm. that that's clear. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. Mm -hmm. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto 
the daughters of men. Mm. Right. When the sons of God came into the daughters of men. Right. And when you go into this, you know, you got the commentaries and, and Bibles like that. They're going to inject that they came into human. They're going to make it like they came to humans. Right. See that? Which is where people get this confusion. Right. It, yeah. Like we were saying in class the other day, you have to really, or actually today, Sabbath class, watch how these commentaries, you right. know, we yeah. say it again. We use certain books to solidify the fact of the Bible. But a lot of times these, they, they be off. Right. They throw something in there that's, that's like, oh, wait a minute. That's, this might be right on that point because it coincides with this, but this is off. Right. And it, it comes from the confusion that the Greeks brought, the Romans brought, that all these gods coming down to heaven, Zeus right. came down, had sex with a woman, and she made a she made a fairy being, and uh, uh, Hercules was made from Zeus having sex with a unicorn or something like that. So <laughs> all these little you know confusing confusing factors that were thrown in by mythology, mm. where we read in Romans chapter one, right. turn the truth of the Most High into the lie, right. and then they worshipped and served a creature. More, more than the, the creator. creator. Right. See that? So this is where this is where that confusion is coming in that, okay, now these gods, these angelic beings, they came down and they dealt with humans. Right. There's no there was no difference when you read that scripture. It said the sons of God came and saw the daughters of men. Mm -hmm. Right? So we just established the sons of God, we're talking about human beings. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, read on. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and mm -hmm. they bare children. Right. So this this will be just like right now. You got uh, white men. That it look like white men can jump now. You got right. white basketball players that's able to dunk. And then you find out what? Oh, their father was was messing with a white girl. <laughs> you know, what right. I mean? it was a, a Judite brother, a so-called Negro, you know, so-called West Indian, Haitian, whatever, was dealing with this white girl. And now all of a sudden she got a kid that's just magnificent or something. Right. Well, to them, that makes him a giant among their nation, mm -hmm. you know, for for uh, for the Chinese or, or whatever Tiger Woods. He got the half what Filipino, half Chinese, yeah. something like that. Right. Or for them, that's what makes him a giant among them. Right, Why? Right. Because there ain't a lot of a lot of Asian people like that make it into the golf game but when you go into his lineage you find out his dad is a black man is a black man right? <laughs> right he's the one that had the spirit of the god of god breathed into him right and made tiger woods with a son of men mm. all right and that's where that's where you got to go into your genesis genesis chapter one and you got to start going in there and seeing that he made all man but then when you go into two, Ooh. he reiterates and says, but he took this one, made him in his image. Special. Right. Like he comes back and says about Israel. Exactly. And then and, and, and that's when we talk about the sons of God. Uh, back then, we weren't known as the Israelites. It was just known the sons of God. Right. These are the ones I'm going to work with. Exactly. And then uh, eventually, before we even were Israelites, we were Hebrews. Yep. Before, you know what I mean? Before that, it was just Abraham, right? right Abraham right. the Hebrew, right? Yep. And so, you know, the Most High dealt with the righteous since the beginning. He said since the foundation of the earth. Yeah, yeah beautiful, beautiful point. Uh, read on. The same became mighty men. Right, the same became mighty what? The same became mighty men. They came. They became angelic beings. The same became mighty men. Uh, spirit, spirits uh, that float around the earth. The same became mighty men. They became aliens. The same became <laughs> mighty men. I'll keep throwing that in because that's where that's where yeah. you know the Sitchin and all these different people come in and they say the aliens came down and dealt with men. Right. And that's how we be. That's how these giants yeah. came about. The scripture already showed you the 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 giants were there already. Right. right. And these men that came from them having dealings with the with the other women of the earth. Right. right? Those people were giants. Right. But also they were the same as the ones before. Right. It's watch. It'll go on to say, mm -hmm. read on. Which were of old. Which were of what? Which were of old. Three words you missing again. Which were, or, or four words you missing again. Which were of old. <laughs> right, right. Right. These people that came from this union already existed before right see that they they were just getting they were losing their stature they were losing their time right but as they as the sons of god as these men with wisdom knowledge and understanding started dealing with these other nations then they started having people that was of old they started having there you started having these men that like adam like <laughs> like noah right right giant men it tells you in uh in the apocrypha that these were expert in war Right. You know what I mean? That they, these were just not just giant men, but they were expert in war. They was able they was smart and intelligent beings. Mm. So they started recreating these type of beings that were of old that had fallen off. 
Right. That it perished as we read. Yeah. See that? And that's what, uh, when you look at the society, that's what they're trying to recreate yeah. through a carnal aspect. As before, we were born into it. Right. Now they're trying to recreate that. You know, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the top of the line being. Yeah. You know, we're going to mess with their genes and we're going to create these individuals that are smart beyond belief, that are uh, in, intelligent, physically active. You know, and what, what are they doing? Splicing genes to do it when, when the Most High already, he already put that in the so-called Negro, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Haitian. He put that in us. Right. 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 But we chose to, uh, to give in to everything else. So he said, okay, I'm going to strip you. Right. Little by little. <laughs> you know, I mean, look at look at Moses. It said he was 120. Right. He, he said he was 120 and his natural strength never left him. Right. Joshua came back and I think it was only 110. Yeah. I think it said he was 110 and his natural strength never left him. Right. right. He said he was still <laughs> able to go to war. Yeah. At 110. <laughs> So right. we're talking about the generations in their prime, in their fresh. Adam? Yeah. Come on, Mom. Of course they're going to be giants. Right, right. right. Now, and again, just to show you, these weren't just giant lumbering oafs, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Stupid as hell. Uh, we're going to go to Baruch 3 and verse 24. Right. All right. Just on that point, uh, we're going to read 3, verse 24 through 28. Mm. All right. And it's another point just to show that. These giants, they perished. They weren't like angels. Angels you, die. You know what, man, uh, you know what? Very, very good uh, good class, Ock, because this shows you why and why the book of Enoch is off. Right. Because it's not. it doesn't coincide with this. No. They, it, you know, they try to inseminate in there. Uh, they try <laughs> to inseminate that it's angels. Right. That right. angels came down. Yeah. And in many, many other books, folklore, all this stuff, mythology, yeah, they have the same kind of story that right. these, that these uh, angelic beings dealt with men. And it's all men trying to be what they're not. Right. It's all and these you, you know what, though? I can, I can actually see why the folklore would start. Oh, yeah. You know, if you, if you look at a guy jumping from one, you know, half court and slam dunking a ball, <laughs> you'd be like, damn, that, that's a god. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you see where the folklore start by man because us having the power and the intelligence and the wisdom is like, man, these cats ain't regular beings. Right. But the, the simple fact is they weren't angels that came down. Right. Right. They were men and women that were born in the earth. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, they still don't, you know, when we get the pictures up and everything, when this is YouTube, it's going to have all the pictures and everything. They still dealing up, digging up these skeletons of these yep. giants, 16, 20, 30, 50 feet tall. Yep. Right. But uh, read that in, uh, in uh, Baruch. Baruch chapter 3, verse 4. Uh, 24. Okay. 24, right? Yeah. Baruch chapter 3, verse 24. O Israel, how great is the house of God. And how large is the place of his possession? And we're going to go into that, too, in my last scripture. But the place of the Most High is great and large. His possession is large. Now, he's talking about Israel. Right. So, you're, so you're clear. The place that we originally inhabited was great and large. And, so we ha and the people that were there before us were giants. The, the place, so we, inhabited, we inherited a great place from the Most High. Wow. God. Yeah. But read on. Mm -hmm. Verse 25. Great and have none in. High and unmeasurable. See that? High and unmeasurable. Go ahead. There were the giants, famous from the beginning. See, in Israel were the giants, famous from the beginning. Mm. See that? And how were they famous? Just like we're giants wait, wait now, a we're famous now. <laughs> wait a minute. Read that again. Verse 26. There were the giants, famous from the beginning. See that? So we were famous. Adam was famous. He couldn't be hid when he tried to hide amongst the nations. That's another breakdown. Y'all can come to classes for that. Um, at Eve, Adam and Eve, they couldn't be hidden. Uh, the giants were famous from the beginning. So in the beginning, mankind was giants. In Israel, the original inhabitants was giants. Read. That were of so great stature. Go ahead. And so expert in war. So once again, these weren't just big, stupid beasts running around. These were giants that were experts. They were expert in war. All right. Read on. Verse 27. Those did not 
the Lord choose. So even though they was intelligent, they was, you know, they was building pyramids. They right. were making all these great monolithic uh, uh, buildings. Uh, even though they were doing these type of things, the Most High didn't choose them. Read. Mm -hmm. Neither gave he the way of knowledge unto them. And he didn't give them the, the right, the way of his knowledge. He didn't breathe into those creatures the breath of life. Read. But they were destroyed. They were what? But they were destroyed. Right now, let's say were destroyed, past tense. The angels, the, even the ones that fell, they don't get destroyed till the judgment. Right. But these giants were destroyed. Right. Just said, well, Christ just said they don't die. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, read off. Because they had no wisdom. Because these giants, they had no wisdom. They was just big and, and expert at war. Right. You know what I mean? But they didn't have the wisdom of the Most High God. Right, them. right. So those giants that were living in the land of Canaan, what they called the Anakim or the Emims, if you, read, if right. you go into the scriptures, right. right, these were these were giants, but he didn't want them. They, they didn't have his wisdom in them. Mm. They was running around being homosexuals and being, doing demonic things on his land. So he had us come in and wipe them out. Read on. Mm. And perish through their own foolishness. Right, see that? They perish through their own foolishness. So these giants that were of old, they, they perished through their foolishness. The ones that were created, they were like those giants, mm. except they had our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right. They had the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High. So when these giants were created in the Genesis 6, these were not like from space, they, but right. they did have an otherworldly knowledge. They had the knowledge that Abraham, right. Noah, that right. this was right. passed right. down to them. Right. Go, up, go back. So we got a few minutes, man. I want yeah. to get one more. We got out. five minutes. Right, right. I want to get one more point, a few more points out real quick. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Genesis chapter 6, the end of verse 4. Uh -huh. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Mighty men, which were of old. So the men of old, right. before this happened, mm. were already giants. They were already mighty men. They were already expert in war. But they also had the wisdom, knowledge, and, and, and understanding of the Most High. Mm. So they could build pyramids. They could build monolithic. Like, like now, you have yeah. righteous brothers and you have the wicked. Exactly. You know, and whether now it's we're all majority all the same size, but back then, you know, what I mean, they were all majority the same size. Right. Giants. Right. <laughs> yeah, you said they were what? That they were of old men of renown. Right. So they became men of old, the same type of men that was before them, and men of renown, just like Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Yeah. They're men of renown. Why? Because when you watch them, can't nobody really duplicate the things they were doing. Right. You don't see a lot of cats jumping from the free throw line no more. They're not doing windmill dunks and, and doing all this stuff. Right, right. But but you look at Michael Jordan, you think, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's other The stature. Yeah. The stature falls. You know, that's exactly. why you can't compare Kobe to Michael Jordan. Right. You And you can't compare uh, LeBron to Kobe. Right. You and can't compare these, or, or LeBron to uh, to Michael Jordan. You, the stature has fallen. Right. Like and the, the next, people they play against. Think about the le next cat. Right. The next cat that's going to come after. Right. You know what I mean? After LeBron? Right. Really? What you going <laughs> to You got to be bad as hell, right? Right, right. So, you know, you'll see that, that these were, these men, these type of men were already around, all right? You got to mm -hmm. see this. And through the scriptures, this was already being done. Now, I'm going to go to one last one. We're mm -hmm. going to go to the book of Revelations. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to the book of Revelations. I want to get uh, 21 and verse 16. God. Revelation chapter 21, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. Right. Now, this is the city that this is going to be that new Jerusalem. That okay. The Most High is going to bring down. Right. And he said the city, uh -huh. right, it was going to be four square. That means it was going to have, it was going to be in the shape of a square, like a cube. Right. Right. Now, what's the measurements on this city that, that he wants these the righteous, the elect, to go into? Right. All right? Now, we're this side. We're, you know, I think the tallest among us was 6'1", six, 6'2", six, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how big this city is. Read. Mm -hmm. and, the length, and the length is as large as the breadth. So the length was as large as the breadth. It was as wide as it is uh, tall. And it was as long as it is wide. It was a cubical shape. Read. And he measured the city with the reed. Go ahead. 12,000 furlongs. Now, if y'all don't know what 12,000 furlongs is, you can Google it. It's about 2,500 miles. All right? So the, the height of this city is 2,500 miles in the air. That's about the length from New York to Florida. Wow. All right? 
This is how high the city is. You telling me that the beings that's going to inhabit that is going to be six foot, <laughs> six foot tall? Five, four. You can't even walk up the stairs. <laughs> right, right. So this is the thing. This is the city that's meant for the righteous, for the elect. Mm. Read on. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. So it's going to be 2,500 miles wide. It's going to be 2,500 miles long. And it's going to be 2,500 miles high in mm. the air. That means wow. you're going to be able to see this building from other planets. You're going to see this city from other planets. What type of beings are going to inhabit that city? Wow. When we die, when we die and resurrect, we're going to be as the <laughs> angels in heaven, and right. we're going to inherit that city. Right. Where you Israelites that believe and you're faithful and you don't start going off into some madness. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, we appreciate y'all. We got one minute left. Uh, yeah. Appreciate y'all, you know, uh, watching us. Keep continue to watching us. If you got uh, any donations of time, money, cars, clothes, um, books, Notebooks, pens, anything that you want to donate, hit us on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, email email, yeah. right? Uh, or call or text us. You know, all the numbers are gonna appear on the screen, and we just want to say shalom to y'all and Tawada for watching. Thank you for watching us uh, every week. Shalom. shalom.